All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi, welcome back to the channel. We're back in Dado's garage with uh, the beautiful Christina K and our torn apart Panigale V4 SP. I'm trying out my new iPhone 13 Pro for the vlog, so let me know what you think. Uh, let's just get right into this one. All right, so if you saw the last video, uh, we tore apart the rear subframe of the bike. We're gonna be replacing it with a full carbon rear subframe from Full 6 that we got through Manny at Moto Million. Um, so that's gonna be on the docket today, reassembling this bad boy. We might even put on the rear uh, carbon piece since it's all accessible right now. Um, also, my last video got demonetized and age restricted to 18 plus just because this woman was in a one piece swimming suit most of the time most of the time with uh yoga pants on too there was like a little tiny clip of her actually in the anyway it, yeah um, watch it. <laughs> so so now she so now she has to wear uh eskimo suits in my videos from now on because apparently she's just too sexy yeah. I, I, I i it's so frustrating the video was going viral too which and then it just completely Bunch died of out there. yeah appreciate Bunch it of Male you know too. what's crazy is when they reviewed it, they said that it, sh they classified it as nudity and sexually explicit content. I'm not sure about you guys watching the video, but unless somebody doesn't have clothing on, you can't be nude. I, I well, mean, it's crazy. Then you go and watch girls trying on yeah, bikinis uh -huh. that barely cover their yep. nips, and those aren't age restricted. Not age restricted like, or demonetized. Wait, it's wow, just, so I just want <laughs> fairness across the board. I know I'm, I'm, I'm complaining, but it's just, just tell us you what we can and can't fun. do. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. Anyway, so that's my rant for today. Um, show them the carbon frame. Yeah, they, they saw the carbon frame in the last video. Well, if you, yeah, if you missed the last video or you can't see it anymore because you have to be signed into your account to even see it. You have yeah. to be a verified be 18, 18 or over account, um, which 99% which of my audience is, by the way. This isn't like a little kid's channel, so I know my audience. But anyway, this is the full six carbon fiber subframe. We did weigh this in the last video uh, compared to the new one. And this one weighed in around three pounds. The new one was Whoa. 15. This is three? Yeah, three and a half, three and a half pounds. pounds. Yeah, so it was about a 12 pound difference. Now, I did talk to Manny and we do actually have to transfer the heat shielding over. Um, so that adds a little bit of weight, but as per the uh, full six carbon fiber website, um, they said it's, it does shave 11 pounds. So yeah, it's gonna be- How much did the exhaust Save. This one, I yeah. think it was 12 to 15 pounds. Just You've already saved about 25, 25 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Yeah. Crazy. So the and bike, the I went back started. and looked. It was 446 pounds wet when we weighed it in stock form. So I think we can get this under, under 400. I think that's oh, the yeah. goal. Get it under 400 pounds. That's going to be nuts, but I think it's very I think we can do it. It's, it would have been easier if we had done the full, the, the full awesome. titanium uh, headers. But we, and honestly, I just asked Manny about getting these. If he can get them for us, we might rip the subframe back off and, and pull these off too. Cause I mean, they're right there. We can literally, we could do it right now if we had them. So um, yeah, we're gonna try and strip as much as we possibly can. Ducati's actually announcing their new Panigale, well, their updated Panigale. And as of as of the viewing of, oh, actually, I'm just gonna say it because it'll already be announced, but oh, actually, no, it won't be. I know I know stuff that I shouldn't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's gonna be interesting. I, in my opinion, it won't be as cool as this bike is gonna be. What do you guys think? Nothing's gonna be as cool as a Campy Z custom. Yeah, I taught, I taught you well, young Patty Wan. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so before we start with reassembly, um, I was talking to Kevin from Ducati Spacers about the heat shield kit and he said now is the perfect time to do it because this is literally everything you have to do to get the heat shield on there. If you know anything about these bikes, pretty much all the Panigales get super hot and uh, this one in particular does as well. Um, for some reason, the Street Fighter wasn't hot at all. I never had issues with heat on that bike, but on this one, definitely do. The exhaust did help in the tune, but it's still a pretty hot bike. So um, where the, you're supposed to put this heat shield is under the seat. Um, within the rear subframe and then on some of the panels on the side there So you can see where they want where they want all the heat shield. Well, actually, I guess it's right there So there's these three pieces here and then in the rear subframe So I'm not actually going to reuse these plastic pieces because I just don't like how it looks on the bike um, They send one with it right here that would go It would 
which does it sit on this side, Dotto? Is this where it was? It's Covering on the this? Right side, yeah. Yeah. So this is to help cover the heat that comes off the rear manifold, and, and it's on the other side too, or I'm sorry, the rear engine head case. Um, and then this is the one for the other side as well, this guy here. I took it off the Street Fighter and I had no issues with heat, so I wanna take this off. I just don't like plastic pieces and it's just adding unnecessary weight. And I think actually letting the bike breathe as much as possible is better, especially after my experience with the Street Fighter. So we're gonna use it under the seat and in the rear uh, carbon subframe, and that's it. So um, these, if you guys have issues with heat on your Panigales, whether it's a V2 or a V4 or a 1299, any of the 1199, 899s, go to panigalespacers.com uh, and get some of these heat shield kits. It makes a massive difference. Uh, Moto Million also carries them. So if you wanna use uh, my discount code, I believe it's Camp P easy on Moto Million. I'm not sure what it is on Panigale Spacers. It might be Camp Easy on there as well, or Camp Easy 10 or Camp Easy 20. I forget. But try the codes and um, stop roasting your balls, if you know what I mean. Stop roasting your boys. But I think the first thing we need to do is transfer over this big ass heat shield, right? Mm -hmm. Which I wish we didn't have to do either. Um, but I think we might have to because this would be too close to the carbon. What do you think, Dotto? Yeah, I think it would mess up the finish and the structure structural integrity of the of carbon, the carbon. it gets yeah. way too hot and the exhaust is literally right, right there. there. So. Okay, so we gotta pull this off and transfer that over. That should probably be the first thing we do. We should just wrap that rear header. I would love to do that. Oh, with some carbon Kevlar? Yeah. I think that would look way better, dude. And and then imagine the weight you would shave not that's, having to use this. That's a lot. The, the cover, I think we can get in carbon. But we do, man, he's gonna send that. a lot of weight. I wonder how much weight it would save on top of- Probably another couple pounds. We should oh, look into yeah. it. You know, just wrap those. Here's the thing, we could put it on without it, order some carbon Kevlar. Whenever that comes in, just unbolt the two things, lift it up, wrap that bitch. We can't, we'd have to do all four bolts. Oh, would we? I don't, plus a lot of the electronics Well, what are there. your thoughts? Um, I don't know, let's sit on that one for a second. Mm -hmm. All right, so we ended up calling Manny because we were thinking about just wrapping the pipes of the exhaust, um, but Manny said it's probably not a good idea just because it could affect the integrity of the actual pipes themselves and they could crack. Probably wouldn't happen, but if it was my bike, I would do it. But since we're giving it to someone, I, the last thing I want is a header pipe yeah, cracking. I've had people message me that factory exhaust manifolds yeah, yeah. are blowing holes out because yeah. they're so thin. They get so hot. They have to cram them in these spots and they're so thin and they get extremely hot and then just blow out. Yeah, with so all the pressure they're under too. I, personally, if it was a full titanium exhaust, and we wanted to wrap it, which we wouldn't at no. that point. I would feel a lot better about yeah. it. It's way stronger. Yeah. But there's there's no way, yeah, somebody uh, give away bike, hey man. <laughs> My man full blew It out. just blew apart, you know? <laughs> we don't want that. So, so we're gonna transfer this bag of dicks over regardless. Manny does have a carbon piece coming for this, which will make it look a lot better. Um, but I think that's about it. We gotta transfer this over. We gotta transfer the NRC uh, tail tidy kit over and then the rear uh, tail light, and then we can put it back on the bike. All right, so I got a care package. We got a care package. Uh -huh. um, my buddy, uh, Joe Lemus, um, he's out in Mexico. Uh -huh. um, he sent us, uh, care package. let's see what this is. Little, <laughs> little Christmassy it. stuff to eat our uh, meats and cheeses, meats and cheeses That's with, awesome. JML Design. Oh, is that his company? That's his company. He does oh, like okay. vinyl and t-shirts and stuff like nice. that. So check him out. I'll have to put his link in the description somewhere or on the screen here once I find it. Okay, what do we got? But what did he send us? Okay. Looks like a street fighter. Some, oh look, that looks like our monster. It's our monster. Uh -huh. No shit. Oh, Camp hey, Easy Customs, that's hey. awesome. Thank you. Okay, so that one's... I like that it's black too. It's more, I know, the black's there. What is that? Uh oh, that's what I'm talking about. Alamo bourbon. I've never See, had this. Uh, he's from San Antonio, Texas. Uh -huh. He sent me this and he's like, did you ever try this? I said, no. He's small like, batch. yeah, small batch. Let's crack that Urban puppy Urban whiskey. Open. Look at this. Let's crack Dude, that Dude, thank open. you so much, yeah, man. I appreciate you, it so much. And we're, we're definitely cracking this open uh -huh. now, but there's more stuff in the box. Another, another t-shirt. Sausage fingers. Hashtag sausage fingers. <laughs> well, that's mine. You can tell that's mine. I love it. That's all three black shirts. That's awesome. Yeah, I love black, dude. You and, can't go uh, wrong. Teener wieners. Teener wieners. Oh, she's not here. That's so, dope, dude. Oh, it's reflective. Oh, no shit. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. Hey, dude, thank you so much. Yeah, dude. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. We're going to enjoy this whiskey now. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. 
Oh, you want to do the honors, Otto? Uh, also, yeah. where, where is he from? You, you said Mexico. So, so the, <laughs> I, I was just talking to my buddy, uh, Aaron Regal. Who's in New Mexico. Mexico. In New Mexico. Yeah. So I said Mexico. <laughs> He's not from me part Texas. of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm an Which idiot. is why he's sending us Texas yes, bourbon. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he's from San Antonio, Texas. So uh, we're going to do a tiny little pour here. <laughs> okay. Mm. Shit's about to get real. Look, Man. teams leaves and this is what happens, huh? All right, we're going to try this together. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Thanks, Joe. Let's see how this is. It smells really fucking good. Holy crap. It's smooth. Wow, that's really. I really like this. It tastes like candy. <laughs> I know. This is gonna be dangerous. Well, we're screwed. <laughs> Look at this. So we're transferring over the heat shield. Geppetto Loctite Shut Central. Up. Look at this. Dude went nuts with the Loctite. Look at all in there. He got angry at his boss. Look. Oh, I'm gonna dip the whole thing in. <laughs> this a is never coming out. <laughs> Fuck this SP. <laughs> Holy shit, Geppetto. <laughs> Calm down, you know. All right, uh, the other thing we're doing is kind of laying out the heat shield to make sure everything fits. We're gonna use it under the seat and then under the rear subframe and then the rest of the stuff will just be extra. Do you think that sounds good, Dada? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that, Does that work for you? Yeah. You look like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> All right, so we're just uh, attaching. <laughs> I was just thinking about you with your Hulk Hogan mustache. <laughs> we're just attaching the uh, heat shielding under the seat. This makes a massive difference. It might seem like a like a weird thing to be doing, but I'm telling you, I've done heat shielding on four different bikes now, and under the seat is one of the most important ones because mm -hmm. um, it just gets away from your balls. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pr protect the family jewels. You know what I mean? Yeah. This foam and this plastic heat soaks so much. Uh huh. Exactly. Um, so what I did to prep this? Yeah. Uh, we peel the sticker. Some sausage juice. And then use some sausage juice. Uh, <laughs> it's just um, um, acetone. Uh, vodka. Vodka. Yeah. Vodka. No, it's uh, it's acetone. <laughs> so very lightly, acetone will eat in the plastic. So don't yeah. sit there scrubbing with a metal brush. Um, but I did clean that up really nice. That makes this uh, stick, stick on really there well because yeah. it gets all the oils and sausage juice out. Yes. So perfect. The mustache goes on next, and I think we're done with the seat. I must ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're doing heat shielding on the. Wait, did you lower this? Why are we so low? I, I didn't lower it. What happened? What happened? <laughs> I raised this Did and I made a nice little table. Yeah. I told him, I look, I Wait. even have the Christmas <laughs> I placemat. A, I didn't get a gun. Did you get a gun? <laughs> I'm just a boy. I'm not a toy. I'm a real boy. Well, whatever. We're, we're here Anyways, now. Anyways, so yeah. uh, heat shielding for the subframe. Yeah. Here's the factory Which one. Which is important. Yeah. yeah. So if you pay attention to how, how this nice is cut out very nicely. Yeah. And it has this yep. channel here mm -hmm. for the support. Yep. Now it's different on a carbon one. Yeah. So if you place it there, you'll notice that it's cut out almost the same, but it doesn't have, the, this one has a carbon support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, this isn't. There's too, cutouts that don't work, but exactly. it doesn't matter. It's still do, gonna do the oh, job. Oh, it's gonna do the job yeah. well, so. That's basically um, what we're gonna do. One on each side, is that how it is? Yep, we're okay. gonna put those on. I'm gonna clean that with acetone, yep. slap this biatch on, and okay. then rock and roll. Perfect. Also, throwback to the old school days with the wood fireplace burning. Look at this. Remember that when we used to make sausages, sausages and steaks yeah. Oh, and we're shit? doing that again. Okay, thank you. Yes. 100% we so, need to do that. What kind of wood are you burning here, Dotto? Um, I, was I know you got some special wood you, you want to talk about. <laughs> no, actually, this is pine. Oh, okay. Everybody can roast me for burning pine. Mm -hmm. There's uh, cherry and walnut in there right now. It smells amazing. <laughs> I literally burn everything. Keep Look your chimneys him. clean if you're doing pine. Yeah. That's more of like a myth then yes it does Look create the more size of these logs i feel like just one of those is probably enough now nah, we're gonna do two. okay fuck it because look at this this will keep my shop this brings back such amazing memories it's probably dude. like 80 degrees in it's here. so it's hot enough. dude and i have it turned out in the whole I'm way about to, i'm about to pop my shirt off dude oh, we nobody, need a carbon kettle nobody wants to see that here, so. hey you know what i just remembered huh. when i did uh the video of me in a bikini remember and i was like in the whole video in a bikini that didn't get demonetized these sexist bastards. The on, guys probably reviewing YouTube. them were like, <laughs> Oh God, just get me off of here. Anybody. It's fine. All right, so we got the first side on. He cleaned the surface, prepped it. Damn it. What? This side has a little um, piece oh, to yeah. run the wires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this doesn't look like. Just see if you can... Oh, you might need to cut that out. Oh, you can get it in there. Yeah. I'll get her in there. Get her on in there. Get her. We'll trim some of this if, if we, we need to. to. Yeah. yeah. It's not our first rodeo, huh? We, uh, we've. <laughs> 
How many of these have we done? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It started with the 9.5. Too many, yeah. That's I, when we built our own, remember? <laughs> God, that took so long. Yeah, we cut everything. Yeah. Do you remember? Come on. I, I wrote heat points on every part yeah. of the bike. Uh -huh. and, now we're just, heat? and now we're just like, uh, left cheek, 100, 100 degrees, know. you know? I know. Actually, I don't think I need to do anything here. Yeah, <laughs> it worked out pretty nice. Perfect. Let's keep rolling. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, we found another piece that we're going to use on the uh, subframe. No, it doesn't match the holes. Yeah, there's there's holes for the stock subframe, but they don't get reused. Well, we don't have the holes on the carbon one, but we're still going to put it on there because this is what is close down to your legs. And you might think that this is ridiculous, but I'm telling you, these little heat shield things make such a huge difference. Anything that can keep it away from the uh, pork and beans, we're going to use it. You know oh, I can go for some pork and beans. Oh, I know. That would be good. Why don't you have bratwurst in here, dude, on the fire? What a dick. You call yourself a, a forest man. Bad kid. <laughs> all right, so we actually, Tato saved all the extra heat shielding from our uh, 1299 and V4 uh, builds in the past. So we actually had a little bit of extra stuff and we used some of the extra heat shielding that uh, Kevin mm -hmm. sent over that we didn't put in other spots. And we figured why not just put it here because this is literally right where you sit. So we're kind of with the seat, the tank, and then us or all of this heat shielding here is gonna create a little bit of, a little nice pocket where we're not gonna get heat on our balls. Mainly we're just trying to save our balls. I told Jared, I'm like, That's this stuff weighs to next to nothing. Yeah, And not? even though I'm overlapping somewhere because yeah. really it's, I want this to be, yep. you know, as functional as possible on both Keep sides. Keep the heat away from us. Hell It'll yeah. be nice, look at that. Yep, Looks so. incredible. I think I'm gonna put one more piece here and I'm done. Okay, I swear, I swear I'm done. <laughs> just wanna talk to him. <laughs> just Look at this, a rare occurrence, folks. Jer Bear, I was like, I wish I could do something to help Donald's throttle. So I went ahead and took... And lost half the hardware. No, no. Good job, bro. It's right there. Good job. I'm missing one. I'm missing one watch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> that's Should actually... Be, that's be, what, Yeah, put it that way. way. Just set it on your head. Uh, mm, mm. This is what it feels like to be Dotto. Feels good. Feels good. All right, what are we doing here? <laughs> like an Egyptian prince. Look at him. I like how it actually fits his head. Yeah, it's like, look. It look. Okay. All right. Just an SP fairing. No big deal. No big deal. All right. We're trying to figure out how to get this tail light out. That's what we're doing right now. All right. So as we're taking this thing apart, Dotto goes, hey, look, here's your toolkit. That's what they give you. This is what Ducati gives you on this bike. One Allen. It's probably optional. That pro that that probably doesn't even fit any of the Allens on this bike. If these are all, if, if all of them are... If you different sizes. If you ship Geppetto some Loctite, he's gonna include this Allen for free for, for you. For free, one Allen plus Loctite for free. And anyway. you can't you can't get the Allen out because Loctite is in there. Yeah, like how are you? Like this is a joke, dude. All right, That's GPS hilarious. unit. Yes. We just throw that. We're out. gonna swap that over. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, yeah, we're just gonna continue to disassemble. We're trying to get to this damn headlight, and we also have to take it's the. It's not NRC a headlight, off. but good job. God, every time I call it a headlight, <laughs> my God, tail light. Thank you. And the NRC tail tidy as well. Dottle throttles and tail lights. Look, <laughs> dude, that actually looks semi decent. <laughs> Can we make this light up while it's on the edge? <laughs> plug it in, bitch. Anyways, one bolt. Yeah, it's right there. Holds the whole tail light on. Unbelievable. And if you plug this into your anus and you drank enough, this will light up. <laughs> It'll light up. Yeah. Perfect. Let's oh, swap that over. It's a little dirty. Why is it dirty? I, I, I just want to talk to him. I just want to. I just want to clean it. All right. So the tail light has these little rubber bushings which keep it from um, completely failing from vibration. Yeah. So I took all those out from the- That's important. Yeah, from the factory. I'm gonna test fit this first. Yeah. I told Jared, I don't wanna drill or do anything um, with the license plate until we make sure this is good yeah, to go. That's, so that's a good call. Let's see if Before this- Before we have to send the subframe back. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Look at that. All right, full six. You guys get my stamp of approval. Yeah. Everything fits like a glove. That's Look amazing. At that. So okay. Once so that's we get the perfect. rubber insulators in there, yeah. that'll be good to go. It's one bolt but holding it. We should do the. Yeah, we're gonna do this first. We're gonna drill these holes, yep. and we gotta figure out what we gotta do to mount because this is a track piece. Yeah, it's right. Essentially, supposed. It to... can be used for street, which is why they have mm -hmm. those there. Yeah, yeah, they put the dimples there. Yeah. So we're gonna see what it takes to swap this. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's, I know, dude. It's gotten completely ripped apart. Um, 
what it's gonna take to swap this yes. entire assembly okay. over. So let's get to it. Let's take this out. Sounds good. All right, we're disassembling the NRC tail tidy. Jared's like, Dada, you wanna talk? I'm like, e yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, That's so, how we roll. So basically, you talking or my talk? <laughs> yeah, off camera. I was like, "Who's talking?" He's like, "You talk." I'm like, "All right." And he puts the camera on me. I'm like, <laughs> "What are we doing?" All right. So this entire tail tidy has to get swapped over. Yes. The problem with the carbon rear section, yeah. uh, the subframe, it doesn't have thread. There's little holes. dimples where you got to drill the carbon. Mm -hmm. It's only like I don't know three grand to buy yeah. that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> don't screw it up. Yeah, you can't. These ones have uh, threaded. threaded posts in yeah. the aluminum. The other one has nothing. Yeah, so how so, does that work? Um, we're either going to have to find nuts uh -huh. that match the little bolts that I pull out, mm -hmm. or we're going to have to put completely new hardware on there, which is fine. It's yeah. fine. Uh -huh. Don't panic. Okay, nobody uh, panic. Don't panic. Because I, I pretty much have right. every motorcycle hardware bolt Part that in exists the in the world. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to un unplug the shit in there? Yeah, there's a. Uh, here we need is. teams of little hands. Hey, where's where Tim's she's little feeding hands the deer. You, she's coming yeah she's she's on her way yeah, back she'll be here tomorrow all right so one thing we want to show you guys is this is the stock subframe see how it had places for the uh, nrc tail tidy to attach and then a ton of holes to fit all the wiring in the new one has none Nothing. of that <laughs> so they do have holes where you want to drill your um and it's funny because it's like it's built for the nrc tail tidy um but then we're gonna have to cut a hole into the carbon uh, to run all the wires and everything. Yeah, now it'll be covered by the tail tidy. Yeah. Once again, just you want to show you want to show them. Tail piece is made for what track looks like. only, but yeah. we want to ride it on the street. Yeah. So most of these wires, here's the holes, by the way. Yeah. Most of these wires uh, need to go to a harness, mm -hmm. which is right, right here. There. Hopefully, we'll Jared inside. knows where it goes because I have no freaking idea. <laughs> I say just throw it out. Um, but this this piece here. Exactly. Let's see where the holes are. The holes are right there. Yep. So it's somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. And then all these wires have to have a place to go. Yeah. So we're going to drill a hole here yep. through the carbon. It's like, like a, what, an inch hole, half inch? Um, we're going to start with a six inch circular saw, <laughs> cut a hole, blow out the whole end. <laughs> no, just Saving kidding. weight, baby. Yeah. Big enough for these harness plugs to fit through. Mm -hmm. Probably, um, I'd say half to three quarter inch okay. hole to start right here. Mm -hmm. And then we can feed everything through. And then I'll get brand new hardware, uh, bolts and nuts. Uh, nuts on the other side, okay. probably lock washers yeah. and stuff like that. Perfect. And that's what it's gonna look like right okay. there okay. when it's assembled. So let's, let's do, do that. Now we're gonna need nuts for the uh, bolts. We're gonna use the stock hardware and then we're gonna put some nuts on these and Dotto actually has, look at that. Nuts that work. Yeah. So these are tapered, like Jarrett said, yeah. so they fit flush with exactly. the tail tidy. Yep. However, we don't have anything to screw it into. Yeah. We're going to use these little M5 nuts. Yep. I am going to double nut these. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then if I drill the, the if I drill the, the hole exactly this size yeah. for the mm -hmm. for the bolt, then I won't need a washer. Okay. Um, however, I still may put one there. Yeah. Um, so let's work on that. Okay. Let's, let's drill a, a $3,000 subframe. Yay. All right, so he's checking for the sizing. Luckily he has a couple of drill bits. <laughs> Just a couple. What do you think? I think I'm gonna start with this. 316? Yeah, it's probably right. That was gonna be my guess. I think the 13, 13 64ths. Yeah is the size we need actually let's that's just, probably going to be it just say send it uh -huh. geppetto is going to be upset but yeah we're just going to do send this send it bro <laughs> um yeah this looks like the correct size it does we're going to drill these we're going to send it and we're going to see if it fits send it steve is that what it is send it steve send it steve let's do it all right so is there any trick to drilling into carbon so what you want to do is you want to i use frog tape but how do you know where the holes are Donna? um really easy there, right there. Mm. See? Okay. See the little nipples? Yeah. The little inverted nipples? Yeah. Yeah, so putting tape on the outside of that and using a very nice sharp drill bit, mm -hmm. wherever the hell that went. Yeah. Um, these ones, you see that tiny little nipple up at the top? I do. That'll pre drill it and then the drill bit will go inside. Ah. Um, that keeps it from splitting. That's exactly what my cock head does. It basically um, pre drills the hole and then the big guy comes afterwards and expands the hole 
to no return. Splits it in half? Yes. Gotcha. So um, I'm totally sober doing this, which means that the holes are gonna be super crooked, but we're gonna try to. Okay. And that's that. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. Where's my easy button? Um, when you have really nice sharp drill bits. Yeah, it makes it easier. Uh, it makes it yeah. super easy. Plus carbon's very forgiving. $3,000 rear subframe is drilled. Jesus. Perfect. All right, what's going on here, Doddles? So, <laughs> Doddles, <laughs> with a factory setup with the rear subframe, this was completely fine. However, these two pieces are separate. Yeah. And the reason why the company does that is because you can flip the license plate to face right. face out this way mm -hmm. or in. Yeah. And we chose to have Tucked. it in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Two options we have is grind everything down, weld it. Well, wait, they don't even know what you're talking and about. And have it one so piece. Right down yeah, here. it doesn't fit. It doesn't, so it's not that it doesn't it, fit. It but fits. It's, back, it's backwards. It's just, not that it doesn't, just, just it's kidding. not that it doesn't fit. It doesn't it's sit just flush. That it sits, yeah, it sits up. So see how it sits up off the thing and it's sitting on those bolts right there. Right. Yeah. On these guys. Yep. So um, I told Jared, I'm like, I, I don't feel comfortable spending the time grinding, welding, yeah. modifying. Yeah. So we're gonna grind the bolt down and a little yeah. bit of this nut just to get it closer to yeah, uh, right. to fitting we fine. We could notch it too where they are, but I don't think. I don't wanna notch the carbon. If anything, I'll put a little spacer so it tightens down nicely here. Yeah, that's here. a good idea. But it's not going to sit 100% no flush no matter what we do yeah. unless we completely get rid of this and yeah. re-weld it. That's way too much work. Yeah. So plus we want the other- Grind these down. Yeah, we want, the, we want the new user to be able to flip it yes. if they want to for the new holes. So yeah. I'm going to grind these down. Uh, we're going to grind these down. Yeah. We're going to grind them down and, <laughs> and, and keep grinding. <laughs> Here we go, folks. We're just doing bolt on. It's no big deal, right? Right, Donald? It's no big deal. Just bolt on. God. Okay. Yeah. So that, do you think everything will fit through that hole? Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna have to ream her out a little bit to make it clean. Yeah. But uh there's the mounting holes. The wiring harness is gonna go through okay. here. I'm gonna clean this carbon up a little bit. Yes. I told Jared off camera, mm -hmm. I do a little trick. Most people think it doesn't do anything, but I'll take all the dry carbon and I just cut and, and coat it in WD-40. Uh -huh. Make sure it doesn't split. Smart. Whether it does anything or not, I don't know, but that'll start. Makes him feel good. Does. He makes, so. him, makes him feel good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everything fit in there just barely. So it was a perfect fit, as they say. Right as rain it was. Now we can pull all the wires through and we can see how this is actually gonna fit down there. Look at that. Fits way better. Way better than it did. That's actually perfect. I don't think you're gonna need spacers or anything. Yeah, I think we can tighten it down with some nuts. Yep. And uh, we'll go to town and see God, how, as long as so it sits good. like that. That's how we want it. Exactly, yeah, just, just like that. Just like, just like that. Just like that. All right, so before we attach the uh, NRC tail tidy, we're gonna do the rear tail light. And in order to do that, we had to put the uh, three grommets in. And then Dotto said this little uh, screw is the only thing that holds this tail light on. The entire tail light. The entire tail light there is, is held on. Uh, yeah, the three grommets. Two are grommets mentioned. are different yeah. than the one here. The middle here. one. Yeah, yeah, the middle one. Thicker. And then you want to use this metal washer. Uh -huh. Make sure you use that. Otherwise, it'll just squeeze through in a tail light. It'll look like a bag of donkey assholes. <laughs> so we're going to... I'm actually gonna make Jared do this because my hands are too big to fit in there. I'll do it. I'm gonna get this little uh, motherfucking star bit mm -hmm. and we're gonna actually do it, thread it in by Why hand. Why is that a star bit? Unbelievable. We're gonna thread it in by hand. Okay. Um, and then once that's in, the harness is already there. We'll hook up the, we'll hook up this harness. Yes. And the tail light and the tail tidy. And then we can start reassembling. Okay. All right, so I actually got in there with my little hands and got it in and started, and then Dotto went and got this swivel. Look at the swivel that he has. Why do you have this? It's a little quarter inch uh, ratchet, and it has this swivel at the end, makes life so much easier. I just got in there and literally tightened in two yeah, seconds. Yeah, that's insane. So okay. having the right tools really so that's, helps. So that's in. Now we can do the NRC tail tidy. Yep. Let's do it. Okay, attaching the turn signals and the NRC uh, tail light. Um, 
what's it called? License plate License light. plate light, thank you. Um, we already we already checked it to make sure that we were good. We plugged one in, it was wrong, of course, 50, 50 chance. And then, um, yeah, so that's it. Everything's plugged in there with the harness wires mm -hmm. for that. Yeah, there's these little like nubs yeah. that walk up here uh -huh. for the harness. Oh, yeah. so this harness only goes so far and the yeah. rest of it. So we're gonna hook this up okay. and make it nice and neat once it's Are we ready to installed. go put this on? I say at this point, yes. Okay. Uh, we did it uh, off camera. Yeah. We, we double nutted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That double type. Nutted. Yeah, that's what she said. This is <laughs> Dotto the, and I double nutted together. This video is going to get demonetized. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we're going to put the subframe on, torque everything down, uh, properly plug as much as we can in, uh -huh. test to make sure stuff works, and we're going to call it. Yeah, and, and then we'll have to run everything and make it all nice in the next episode this and is bolt -over. keep moving in, keep this is moving on. Yeah. This is bolt -over. All right, so we ran into another issue. The factory heat shield sits over here, yeah. See how nice that sits on there? Built for the factory rear subframe. And when we go bring it over here, the holes put line it on up, here. but it's way like look at the gaps. Yeah, it's not it's not good. So guess what we're doing? Not Bye. Yeah. What happened? You guys got nowhere. What do you Dude, you have no idea how long it took to get all this stuff swapped we over. We had to drill the carbon. Oh yeah, God. it took forever. Look at the taillight. We got uh -huh. the taillight oh, nice. Yeah. That looks really good. So we're not running you guys the got no We're not going to run <laughs> the factory heat shield, and we're going to test it and awesome. see. We'll ride with it and make sure it's okay. Four bolts over. Yeah. Good God. All right, let's put it on. To run. All right, so since we're not going to run a heat shield um, on the exhaust pipes here, um, we're going to add more heat shielding to the carbon piece to make sure that it doesn't, nothing happens as a result. But um, I think it should be okay. We'll keep, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see how it looks. If we don't like it, we'll figure it, we'll figure out a solution. But for now, um, that's what we're doing. All right, we got the heat shielding across the uh, center brace here and we're gonna put it on and see how it looks. What are you doing up there, bud? <sighs> Tightening stuff down, man. Dotto and I were talking about um, heat shielding for this. I. I don't think it would mess anything up, but like I said, if it was my bike, I would have, I would do this right here. Look at all the heat shielding we'll put in there. Yeah, or maybe find some titanium headers for this that are a lot lower down, you know? Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. That's... Or or we make a custom heat shield that doesn't weigh 20 pounds. Can you do that? I think we can make whatever the hell we want. Okay, so we're just hand tightening stuff right now. We're gonna torque this stuff down in the next episode. But I just wanted to make sure everything was... Just to put in perspective, Jarrett is like 20 feet up in the air. <laughs> he's he's up there on the lift. Okay. We're good. Where you at, bud? It's on. What do you think? Look at uh, that. Look I at think that. it's... God damn, that's amazing. All right, so there's a stock subframe ripped apart. Oh, nice. Yeah, set it on there so they get some sort of idea. Look at that. That is epic. If I can get titanium headers for the rear, I might just get those. Hey guys, if, if your anyone work, yeah, is get us a rear titanium header, yeah, specifically that will work with this. Basically, anything that has this the stock bolt-on location. Yes, that's true. And then you'll get massive kudos yeah. from us. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, titanium rear header. Let us know. Otherwise, we can make a heat shield kit for that but ourselves. Now that we don't have the rear heat shield on because uh -huh. it doesn't fit worth shit anyways, yeah. we can actually get to the header bolts yeah so we easily swap, swap out. that out yeah so yeah that's it for now obviously the rear subframe is not done yet but what we did get done today is uh like done well which is what matters look at that 12 pounds of weight savings look at that thing dude that looks so epic this side is obviously torn apart this is all getting replaced with carbon anyway but yeah we're getting there so if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up. Don't forget, you can go on patreon.com slash campeasycustoms to be entered to win this bad boy. And if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.